Alright people of YouTube, when you plug into the software on your PC for the selfie printer, this is what it looks like. You have your print, printer settings, you have, uh, let me see, actually this is what it looked like. It lets you know that you're connected, you know, to your PC. Then you can go into settings and change a couple of uh, settings. Or you can go to the printer menu. And How would you like to print? It has a couple of uh, options for you more than what you get from the actual printer if you do it without the computer um, before I show you anything about that <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and show you some photos I printed you know let me focus real fast it's kinda dark so it won't look as good as it actually looks in person but um, here's one of them right here example of printing eight photos on one paper but randomized in different sizes and stuff like that I love how this one turned out and I like how it looks I'm going to keep that inside my uh, briefcase wherever I go so people can see the different ways they can print out a photo. This one was with the brightness up plus one, which one of the guys on YouTube has said is best to put the brightness plus one. And this is with it regular. Just my focus. Okay. Okay, so that's, that's regular and that's plus one see more actually no which one wait yeah this is this is plus one and this one is regular you can see it's real dark this one looks more better it's kind of dark inside here too so the pictures actually look more brighter than, than what they, than what they are right now and here's one right here a church video I mean a video <laughs> you know I'm a videographer but I'm a church picture <laughs> a church video I wish I could have like a little thin video like this and show you actually working on something like that they've been working on that for years um, but um, anyways back to the screen let's give you guys an overview this is kind of, this is the kind of video I wish I was seeing on YouTube when I was looking trying to look at videos for this uh, printer so I hope you guys really appreciate it um, you can cut off the menu I mean you can cut off the option where it talks back to you or it talks to you you know but um select a calendar layout so you can print uh, a picture with a calendar next to it you know different layouts and stuff like that and then once you click on one it takes you to your pictures you want to print stuff like that you got all these different pictures or like screenshots and stuff like that um let me see what picture I want to use use my brother's graduation picture or something like that let's see which one I want probably this one right here Okay, and then go to next. It's my first time doing this, so. Choose the calendar settings and then print. I think I like that picture, it's kind of blurry. So I'm gonna go back and choose a different picture. Yes. See, so make it larger. I think I can enlarge it. Yep. Displaying images magnify. Choose the image you want to print. Okay, next. Choose the calendar settings and, and then print. And I wonder if I can crop it, huh? I wonder if I can crop it. Probably not, but I'm just going to go ahead and print it like that. I mean, I know there should be a way you can move the image. Or, oh, there it go right there. Just click on it. Okay. <laughs> I knew that. Okay. Like that. And then go to, I guess, go to print. Print starting. You can also print decorative pictures like this, like they show on the side right there. I like the software so far. I've been using it for like literally five minutes, if even that, and it's it's fairly cool. You know, it's real cool. Um, I like the way it talks to you. Usually, I get irritated with stuff like that that talks. You know, printing your photo now, and it's actually faster on the uh, computer. Like I didn't have to wait for like a 45 second to a minute load time before it start printing that you would have to wait if you uh doing it on your memory card so um yeah cut that light on real fast so I can uh so when I show the photo it won't be all dark yeah. I'm impressed like this printer on Amazon right now eighty dollars on um, the regular price ninety nine ninety nine even at a hundred dollar price I will still buy it you know it is very worth it. Pictures come out super sharp. You can print the calendar. 
You can Printing uh, complete. pick the calendar you want to use. Here it is right here. Real good detail. As you see, it's the seventh month. This is the actual date, July. The actual month. I'll rip off the edges, of course. Yes, the edges do come off. A lot of people on YouTube ask, do those white borders stay on there? No. And to be a 4x6, it's still a good size. Like, <laughs> this is a real good picture. My brother would love this right now. So, when you do come over, I'm showing this and them have it. But, um, yeah, it's, man, it does some really good stuff. So, this is another thing I'm putting inside my, uh, like a little mini port port portfolio for people to see, you know, the different kind of prints they can get and stuff like that. It's very cool, man. Like, I'm very impressed. So, um, if you look into this printer and, you know, and you're thinking, hmm, is it worth the money? Should I go with a different brand? I mean, there are other companies out there that, uh, let me see, if you turn to the previous screen, print settings will return to there, okay. Uh, there are other uh, companies out there that make printers and stuff like this, but, you know, I have a Canon, I have a Canon printer already and a Canon camera and, you know, I'm also stick with Canon, and I like I like their products, and they're not a company that just have a name and their products be crappy. They just use their name to make their products so good, or make their products sell by their name. They actually are good, you know. Choose the image you want. So to here's print. another one. I'm just choose a screenshot from one of my games or something like that. Choose this one right here. It's just just anything. I'm not gonna print it though. I'm just gonna show you the different things Select it can do. Select a frame, clip art, speech bubbles, and then print. So you do different stuff. I can take like take like uh, photos of like baby photos and put a border around there like that, something like that. Of course, you can still move the image around and things of that nature. You know, pretty cool. So people have the option to actually. choose different borders they want and it comes with a lot. It comes with a decent amount. Say about 50. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, yeah about, about 60. So yeah that's been my overview of the Canon I'll say Pixma, that's my other printer. The Canon Sophie SP800 photo printer software. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you're looking to pick this up, do not miss a chance to get this printer. It's a very good printer. My first photo printer, so I'm already impressed, you know, to be my first. And maybe other ones out there, especially the ones that can print out bigger photos. But for my first printer and how clear these pictures come out, man. And the options you get without even hooking it up to the PC. And then you get that more options when hooking it up to a PC man and you can take it out on the road we don't have to worry about plugging it up with the external battery i mean not external battery but um portable battery and stuff like that man so this has been your boy emily the hobby collector i hope you guys enjoyed the video peace